Let's do it. Hey JD Aliens, welcome back. I'm glad you showed up because I got some new stuff from Wondershare in high PDF because you know they're always working on the latest and greatest to help you with your workflow regarding PDF documents. So let's go ahead and open up your Chrome browser and dig into highpdf.com and that's going to take you to their homepage right here. And that's where you're going to see all these tools right here. Convert from PDF, PDF from Word, uh, JPEGs, PowerPoints. You can work with all these different types of files converting and reconverting to PDF back and forth. But but today we're going to talk about what the new thing is, which is high PDF desktop right here. You're going to see where it says start free trial for windows. Hey, don't worry, Mac users. It's coming soon. I promise. So let's click on it and get it downloaded. But you know what? I've already got mine downloaded because I'm already two steps ahead of you. It's right here. So let's click and open it up and start playing around with this because I got some really cool stuff to show you right here on the left hand side. It says PDF to file file to PDF encrypt to PDF compress to PDF and merge to PDF. Unfortunately, I don't have a PDF on my desktop to show you. So let's just play around with some stuff and convert a file to PDF. Let's take my resume and slide it over here and get this thing converted. So we'll hit convert and you see how fast it's going to actually read the document and convert everything over into a PDF format. Right here it says complete it and on the left hand side you see my resume just popped up there. So let me drag it down here that way I can know exactly where it's at and we'll click on it to make sure everything ported over okay. Once it gets open and we see the document we're going to go ahead and move into some other things. As you can see this is my resume and it says your name here. I'm going to give you some advice if you plan on turning in a resume without your name on it you're probably not going to get the job. So I might not be the best person to copy their resume format of. But let's say we want to take that PDF and work on it as a file again. So let's go ahead and click on PDF to file and then we'll take that same resume PDF. We'll slide it over here and it will then convert it and it will populate over into the left hand side. Here it is once again. So now we have two documents that say resume. One of them I just created through high PDF desktop. So let's open it up to make sure everything ported over. Okay. And yes, once again, it says your name here. I'm probably not going to get this job if I keep turning in this resume. I want to throw this in the recycle bin because I don't need it anymore. But another thing I wanted to share with you is that if you planned on adding some extra security to your PDFs, high PDF desktop can also help you with that. So what you do is you click on encrypt PDF and you slide that PDF file, which is my resume over to there. And right here it's waiting on you to put in your password. So I'm going to use my password one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, don't tell anybody what my passwords are. Okay. We're going to hit encrypt and it says complete already. And it has made a new version of that PDF, which is encrypted. So let's go ahead and open open it up, see if we can actually get into it. So as it's opening up, it's actually prompting me to put in my password. So let's go ahead and put it in. What is it guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. There it is. Okay. And then we'll see this PDF open up. There it is. Your name and everything is populated just as it's supposed to be. Hey, before we get out of here, please someone remind me to put my name on my resume. Now I want to get a little fancy with you guys because I want to show you some tricks that this thing can do. We're going to take this uh, PowerPoint presentation. We're going to slide it over here and we want to convert that too. So we're going to go from uh, file to PDF and then we're going to slide it over here to get it to convert. And let's do a workbook too. Let's do workbook number five. Let's go ahead and convert that one as well. And then we will go ahead and hit the convert button and wait for high PDF to do its magic. So as you can see here, all three items were converted from whatever they were in the first place to a PDF. And we can look over to the left hand side here and I have my presentation right here and I have my book five workbook right here, which I'm sliding down. And of course we have several of my resumes in the form of PDFs. So what we want to do now is open up this presentation just to see what it looks like because I want to make sure everything ported over okay. Now here's my PowerPoint presentation. It was a two slide PowerPoint. We'll go ahead and close that because everything looks okay. And now I want to open up this uh, Excel book just to see if everything went okay with that. And then we're going to get to some fancy stuff. So it looks like everything ported over okay. Everything is exactly where it's supposed to be. So let's close this out. Everything went okay with my PowerPoint, my book, and my resume. But what if I wanted to merge everything together and make it one single document? So I can take my presentation, my book, and my Word document and convert them into PDFs and then merge them all into one file. You telling me I can do that? Hi PDF. Yes. So let's hit merge PDF and we'll drag over this presentation, which is the PowerPoint. We'll drag over the book and let's drag over that resume as well. And we'll go ahead and hit merge. Now it happened really fast, but you'll see right here, I'm dragging it down. It's a merged file. So let's just open that up to make sure everything went where it was supposed to be. 
So right at the top, you'll see my PowerPoint document right there. And then right underneath it, you'll see my uh, book that I have here. That was book five. And last but not least, you will see my no name resume once again. So yes, everything was merged. But in the event you have a gigantic PDF file, some of those things can get pretty large, especially when you're dealing with PowerPoints. You can always compress them. So let's go ahead and click on compress. We'll take that merge file and then we will drag it over and hit compress. And you can also do it in different sizes as well we can do highly compressed medium compressed or low compressed let's stick with medium since it was the default and we'll hit the word compress here and let it do its thing wow that was ridiculously fast so now we have once again merged file let's move this over we have merged file once again but now it is compressed i don't know how you guys are feeling right now but i'm thinking this is a lot of utility let me take you back to their page where you can download this again you can go to highpdf.com you click this desktop icon right here and it'll take you to this page which is where you can download your free trial of high pdf desktop version i'm no expert in this kind of stuff but i will tell you that i'm getting pretty good at working with pdfs thanks to high pdf desktop now i gotta get out of here and go make some more videos but until we meet again Make sure y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, and then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you, and I'll see you at the next one. Is this not why you are here?